Hey guys, this is Doug again with Fellowship of the Martyrs, a ministry here outside of Kansas City. We've been 20 years caring for the poor, uh, preaching uh, Jesus, living in community, trying to change the um, understanding expression of God and Christianity and how it might look if we weren't uh, all wound up in religion and what a church has become instead of what church used to be. One of the uh, foundational things we believe is that the proper biblical model for church is the city church. One body per city under Christ, loving one another, not necessarily agreeing on everything, not necessarily meeting in the same place all the time. Sometimes they would meet in homes. Sometimes they would meet at Solomon's porch, which was the largest open area in Jerusalem at the time uh, as, as, as it relates to the church of Jerusalem. So... Um, sometimes they would debate in other places, but, uh, uh, the school of Tyrannus in Acts chapter 16, Paul meets and, and debates and talks about religion. Anyway, I want to read you the local churches mentioned in the Bible to kind of show you what we're talking about here. It, in Revelation chapters two and three, there are seven letters to seven churches from Jesus through John. To the seven churches and it's written to everybody in that place it's not written to the bishop of asia minor it's not written to a pope uh, it's written to um, those that are of the church that are in that place the laity um, but i'm going to give you um, i'm going to read down this list right here and i will superimpose the um, verse reference, if you want to look it up, to show that I'm not just making stuff up. Um, at, uh, the uh, Antioch of Pisidia, Antioch in Syria, Athens, Babylon, which is an actual city, uh, Berea, Caesarea, Cancrea, Col Colossa, Corinth, Crete, Cyrene, Damascus, Derby, Ephesus, Hierapolis, the Church of Iconium, the Church of Jerusalem, the Church of Joppa, the Church of Laodicea, the Church of Lydda, the Church of Lystra, the Church of Pergamum, the Church of Philadelphia, the Church of Philippi, uh, the Church of Puteoli, Italy, the Church of Rome, the Church of Sardis, the Church of Sharon, the Church of Smyrna, Smyrna, Church of Tarsus, Church of Thessalonica, Church of Thyatira, Church of Troas. And then it also mentions the churches of Phoenicia, which is a region. The churches of Samaria, which is a region or a country. The churches of Judea, the churches of Galatia, the churches of Asia, the churches of Macedonia. Just like you would have the churches of Missouri, but within that you would have the Church of Liberty or the Church of Excelsior Springs, where I am at the moment. Uh, anyway, I'm happy to discuss with anybody where they think denominationalism is okay, where it, where the Bible lays out that it's okay for us to take the names of men and divide up into uh, di different sects um, based on uh, disagreements on secondary issues. It's just not. We should start coming together as one in the local area manifesting that and I can understand if you want to fellowship with the people that are the same color speak the same language sing the same songs as you do that's fine but when you see each other in Walmart you ought to hug and uh, and love one another and it be known by the world and you ought to work together on caring for the important projects in your city and reaching the reaching the lost and the poor and there ought to be ways that we cross over and not just stay in our little boxes week after week after week, year after year, century after century. Anyway, thanks for listening. That's all for now. Chew on it. See if you can prove me wrong. I'd like to hear down in the comments where you think denominationalism is okay and how the Bible justifies it. I think there's plenty of verses, like 1 Corinthians 3, that say it's not, that you're carnal and not spiritual. Because we are one spiritually, we are not one because some building voted on you, or because you're in a particular place. Sleeping in a garage does not make you a car, any more than going to church makes you a Christian. 
Either you are or you aren't. And if you are, then you're my brother, you're my sister, and we're one, and that's just all there is to it. Anyway, something to think about. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus, amen.